Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, we talked a couple of years ago, oh, sorry, a couple of weeks ago with the year six students. Uh, we took a virtual visit of Brighton and we said that we were going to do another one for London. I know that you have been doing some other activities with other uh, language and literacy teachers about London. But today we're going to take a virtual visit and we're going to do that for year five and year six. Now, as you know, every year when the year six goes to Great Britain, after we come back, uh, one of the important activities uh, related with our trip is that we go to other classes, um, of course, year five, to talk about our experience okay that's not going to be possible this year so that's why we are including year five um, in this lesson today um, so I'm, I'm just going to uh, show you some videos and some tools some websites that you can use to do your visit um, now before we go to to the United Kingdom every year we have some classes in preparation for our trip because um, there's a lot of things we have to uh, learn before we go uh, to prepare about traveling and about things that are different in the United Kingdom uh, from how things are in Spain okay so we're gonna watch um, four actually f yeah four videos the first one is going they're not very long they're the longest one is like 11 minutes um, so the first one is a before you go video so it gives you general information that you need to know to prepare and plan your visit to the United Kingdom and London in particular um, then we're gonna have a look at the 10 uh, top attractions in London um, but there's not only 10 there's many of them okay then because the video those two videos um, the person that narrates the video is not a UK uh, native I don't think it's a UK native so the accent is a very good accent um, but it's not the real London accent okay so that's why the last two videos I'm going to they're very short like four minutes and two minutes but you can get exposed to the accent of people who live in London now London is the biggest city in Europe uh, is a megalopolis a very cosmopolitan and vibrant city those are all words that you will hear in the videos um, but it's not only UK nationals, okay? It's not only people who were born in, in London who live in London. There's people from all over the world. Uh, it's what we call, what we used to call melting pot, people from all different parts of the war, world. Um, but now we call it a, a salad bowl, okay? Because in a melting pot, it's like a puree, you don't see the ingredients. Whereas in a, in a salad bowl, you see the ingredients of the plate okay so when you go to London um, there is a lot of um, people from all over the world with their different traditions and so we're gonna see some people from London talking and then we're gonna see another video uh, where there's people from all over the world talking so I'm gonna show you now the videos and I'll see you in a minute Okay, so the first video we're going to watch is things to know before you go to London, okay? To prepare, um, to plan for your trip. So these are London travel tips, okay? It's an 11 minute, 30 second video. And when you go to the description, if you open the description, you can see they give you the different topics they talk about, okay? And, um, as the currency, the money they use, which is different, traffic and safety and, and, and all different things. Um, the power plugs, as you, the outlets, los enchufes, the plugs are different, so you need an adapter. So it's all different, uh, different information about different topics, okay? And you can have a look at, um, you can have a look at other websites that they suggest on this video, okay? So the first video is 18 things that you need to know before you go to London. <laughs> 
okay the second video which is from the same website or the same I don't know youtuber or company whatever you want to call it is 10 things to do in London okay so again on this one uh, please in both videos it's this is important guys in both videos the first two things to do before you go to London uh, you can you want to uh, activate the captions in this video we share important information about what you need to know before traveling to London like best time to visit how to use pub and as you can see it's in Spanish because these videos once you activate the um, the captions the subtitles you can go to this little wheel here and if you click on subtitles you see in between brackets there is a number that means that we have subtitles available for different languages and you can have it uh, on in English or auto translate I guess well no sorry in English or you can have it in Spanish so um, so in things to do top 10 things to do in London when you open the when you open here in the show more you open the description it gives you the minute or the second in the video where they talk about the different things so if you go to second 23 they'll be talking about the tower bridge okay and they give you a little summary here but they give you more information on the video all right so what happens for example if you listened if you listen to the tower bridge okay and there are some things that you don't understand the river thames and was built at the end of 19th century you can take a boat ride that goes under the tower bridge for full experience that's something that we normally do when we visit london now if there is something that you don't understand you can change the i recommend of course always to have the subtitles in English but if you really want to make sure you understand everything perfectly and there is something that you don't understand in any of these attractions you can just go again to the moment where they start for example the London Eye and Five. you can change Eye. and you can change the language of the subtitles as you can see now we have it in English I click there and I go to the Spanish version of the subtitles okay and I continue and as I listen to it giant Ferris wheel on the sub I can listen to it also in Spanish to make sure that I understood everything perfectly okay so those are the first two videos all right um and later I will also talk about a link that they have on this video for the maps okay because they prepared a map on Google Maps where they have 19 not only the 10 that they talk about in the video but 19 of those uh, top sightseeing places or attractions to visit in London okay so if you are really interested in visiting the British Museum or Big Ben and you want to talk about um, you want to learn more about it you can come to this map click on it and if you scroll down a little bit you can visit the web page for each of these um, attractions and in many of them uh, if we go back now let's see if we can go back in many of the them you can actually take a virtual tour of the different places for example um, if you go to Westminster Abbey and, and as you can see everything's closed uh, most of it is closed still so if you go to Westminster Abbey you can visit their web page and um, and you can have a look at all the different things you can see there and you can take a virtual tour okay so you can explore the Abbey and this is true for many other websites museums and attractions and you can just you know you're right at the front entrance and uh, let's see if I can make this a little smaller yep and, and you can just take the virtual tour walk inside 
the Abbey, Westminster Abbey. And you can visit all the galleries and 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 now you can navigate around here. It's a 360 degree virtual visit. Okay. So you can do this for many of the top London attractions. Okay. Um, so those are the first two videos. Don't worry, all the all the links will be in the description so you can visit all these places. Um, so we start with things to know before you go to London, and then we have 10 top things, top 10 things to do in London. And then there will be a couple of links to uh, two videos, very short. As you can see, this one is, uh, is just um, four minutes and the next one is uh, six minutes okay so you will have you will have a look at interviews uh, to people on the street okay the first one they have it uh, subtitled okay they, they we have the captions for everything they say okay and on the second one uh, we can also activate the captions here. However, this one, uh, the subtitles are not going to be perfect, okay? Because there's people talking on the street, and um, and you will see something funny. Most of the people on this video say they have been living in London for two weeks. Uh, so that's something strange to say. Um, so those are the four videos. Uh, not this one. So those are the four videos. And then after you have watched uh, all the major attractions and all the information to prepare for a trip to London, uh, you can go to the map that I'm telling you. I will give you the, the link on the description for the map to visit the different places and to go into the web pages of, of the different attractions. And I'm going to show you just one last thing. Uh, if you're interested in taking a virtual visit of London, uh, you can come to this web page, which is 360visitlondon.com. Uh, sorry, 360.visitlondon.com. And you can have an, uh, a look from the top of the, the London Eye, the Ferris wheel that they inaugurated. Uh, I think it was 2000 or 2001 and um, and you can see all the different places that we can visit and when you for example let's see uh, let's see let's see well for example the HMS Belfast okay if you're interested in visiting that you can take a virtual tour 360 or 360 degree tour of Her Majesty's ship Belfast which is a warship uh, that is on the River Thames okay and uh, it senses the interior well you can click on the play button down here and it will take you slowly through the visit this is a this is a warship that's on the River Thames this seems to be the inside of it um, I would have liked to see it from the outside. Um, let's go back to the London Eye. Let's go to the Big Ben. Uh, you, here you can see the Houses of Parliament, River Thames. Um, it's playing the, uh, the virtual tour. Uh, right here is embankment so you go down there is a metro station there an underground station Let's see if i can stop it uh, no i can't stop it right now no yeah so the london eye is here right here this is a bridge right under it is the river thames and right under there there is um the boats that we would take to go all the way up the river thames to um sorry down the River Thames um, to visit the Tower of London, the London Bridge, uh, Shakespeare Globe Theatre, and all the major attractions on that part of the city. Okay, so this is a great tool to visit um, all the major attractions. Have a look at them. For example, Buckingham Palace. As you can see, this is the the facade, the front of the palace. Um, <clears throat> 
and again you can navigate around here that's in james's park where we no would normally we would come down here and we would have uh lunch there or or a mid-morning snack um sorry um and we would see a lot of uh squirrels and pelicans they have uh a lot of wildlife in the St. James's Park, which is right in front of Buckingham Palace, which is where normally the Queen resides uh, for m most of the year. And if you look at the flag on the top of Buckingham Palace, if the flag is flying, so if the flag is up on the pole, that means the Queen is in residence. The Queen is staying at uh, Buckingham. If the, if the flag is not up, that means she may be in another one of her residences because she has a lot of uh, houses and palaces all through the United Kingdom. <coughs> all right, so, so that's it. This is a great tool. You can always go back to the London Eye, uh, explore a little more. You can go to the zoo. You can go to Harrods, that so you will learn it's a department store. Uh, we've had a look at Westminster Abbey. Uh, Piccadilly Circus, let's visit Piccadilly Circus. It's a very famous site with all the screens, TV screens. We would do some shopping here. Uh, there, there is a lot of, um, you know, souvenir shops around here. It's a very, it's normally really packed. There is always crowds, lots of people here. Um, and live music too. There is always some musicians uh, playing on the street in London. Um, even when I think it's illegal now. At least it is in Brighton. I'm not sure about London. Um, some more things. Trafalgar Square where we normally visit the National Gallery. And so this is Nelson's column, okay? And we have uh, the huge, um, I guess, cast iron, I would say the material is the lions on the square. And right in front of it or behind it is the National Gallery, okay? Where we have, uh, it's like the Museo del Prado, you know, it's a, it's a museum for uh, paintings and uh, they have some of the most famous uh, paintings in the world. And um, so, like I said, just explore it and uh, whatever you are more interested in, uh, you can visit that. So maybe some of the newer... Uh, skyscrapers in London okay as you can see that's the shard and uh, and this is from inside the gherkin I guess that's a that's a restaurant I'm sure it's very pricey very expensive to have dinner there okay so you have if I had to recommend how to do all these things in order I would definitely start with the video things to know before you go to London you would continue with top 10 things to do in London then I would explore after I listen to the video of the best things to visit I would have a look at some of them uh, on the virtual tour from the London Eye then I would go to the um, to the map with the 19 uh, places that they're suggesting to visit. And then you, uh, then you can explore whichever you, you want, okay? So for example, if you clicked on the British Museum, you, then you can go to the British Museum. So where you see the Earth, the planet, you can open the website. If you click there, it takes you to the British Museum um, web page and you can visit the museum from home okay you can um you can you can watch a lot of things take a virtual tour of a gallery tour uh different virtual visits of london landmarks important places in london uh if so 
after that I would explore the ones that you are more interested in okay if you want to explore Big Ben you will go there you would click on the web page and that will take you to the Parliament page where you can have a look at a lot of different uh, uh, facts about Big Ben and uh, it seems like there is still they started uh, renovation uh, work to uh, keep it in good shape in 2017 and it's all surrounded by scaffolding uh, so you can't really see um, the tower perfectly now but in the near future it will it will be finished so there is a lot of information in all these web pages so um, my suggestion is you visit you know five or six of the ones that you're more interested in okay and that will be um, the order that I would I would suggest you to take this virtual visit so that's it for the class today just two last things uh, for the year six students just a reminder to if you did not take your books uh, your library books from uh, from class to uh, to school last week Please do that this week. A school will be open from 9 to 3 and there will be a box in the office for you to drop um, your book there. Um, and I'm not going to ask and that you guys do any activity about this because it's enough of an activity watching this video and then watching the other four videos and visiting and exploring all the other um, all the other web pages okay but I just want you to write me an email um, saying one new fact that you learned about London so don't don't just tell me the obvious um, facts that you may know before watching any of this like uh, people dry on the left side of the road or the wheel the steering wheel in the car is on the right and not on the left as it is in Spain so those are obvious things that you may know I mean I want something that's new that you learned from visiting um, the websites that you are most interested and I just write me an email with a sentence say in a sentence you can write me an email or send me an audio uh, recording saying um, if you liked the class if you liked the activity and or what do you think about the activity and one fact um, you can say one new fact that I learned uh, doing this activity is that for example uh, they call the stir the pound sterling they call it quit for example that's something that we normally talk about in class uh, they call it quit okay with no plural it's like one quit 10 quid uh, also if you listen carefully to the uh, to, to the video of the people talking especially the native London London um, conversation uh, interviews uh, you will hear them say the word cheer instead of thank you um, they use thank you in London and in, in Britain in general but they use cheers uh, more often okay um, and if you can find some interesting fact that, uh, in any of the websites you visit, just tell me about one of those new facts that you learned um, in this class, okay? So that's the end of today's video. Next week, it will be uh, the, la it's the last week of school. So um, we'll see what we do next week, okay? If you have any ideas for next week's class, you can also tell me on your email or your recording. Okay, um, so that's it. Have a nice week, guys. Bye.